parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glow. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense, are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. For now, though, he's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the general himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. Say the word, and we're off. I'm touched. But I'm already spoken for. Very well. Side by side we'll stand, as we'll rip true souls from a false god. As good a prophecy as any. At the ready, Harpers! In this light, there will be victory. In this light, we will avenge the fallen! The time has come. Gather equal taste of death at last. You dare show yourself here after all you've done? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorne. You have betrayed our god! And for what? These harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb. And in death, you will all serve the Absolute. Like a kitten roaring at a tiger. Boys, make this traitor bleed. Death greets 
hurts us all. But not today. Sometimes the only way out is through. Maybe I should... No, this is good. I'll strip your bones clean! Better moment. Into position. Still on my feet.
need for me. still have time to surrender.
ready. On the hunt. Well, so much for peace. Try me. I think I could go another round. Potent magic. Please. Now's hard <sighs>
surrender. Standing, no matter what you heard. Oak Father is my way. Time to push my luck again. Light on my feet. Frederick will not wait on our pleasure, nor jump on his sword.
I stand ready to reinforce, if you need it. So I shall. Now let's run a hunt. What have you done? What have you done to me? How dare you interfere? You are like the digits of a hand. It is for you to act, not to decide. You serve the absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. Bow! The prison. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me, and if you will not bow, you will break! You... How good it is to see you again, Ketterick. At last you found a godmaster that suits you, it seems. Halen, the thief. Stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name? After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! Enough! This ends here and now, at last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side! Work. Not but another harvest. Roll in my favor, of course.
soldiers. Enough. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel.
Maestra Rill. this. Time for us to take a rather literal leap of faith. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. The General will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him, before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. I certainly do. Lead and I follow, Commander. Always nice to be wanted.
still alive, so that's progress. Oh, that helped. Do what must be done. Let's get going. The hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. in a method colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this sitting beneath moonrise? For how long? How deep does it go? Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. players and civilians side by side this must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap brine pools but empty of tadpoles that pole? unusual that inside harvesting all the by grazit's cock it's about time you came oh, perish the thought Every word was nothing less than true. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Mizora's life rests in your hands. Perhaps you could end Will's pact here and now. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. Good work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. Me? I'm out of here. You? I don't play tarot. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, 
I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta. fills your mind. Every mind flare in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, desperate to escape. <laughs> The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority.
getting to the chase. Put him up. Under their noses. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. You've heard some of it, I'm sure. That I froze or broke. ...or some other lie that is kinder than the truth. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard... ...her... ...their false god... ...whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again... ...with a god's purpose, a god's power... ...everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought, and ran, and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. I fell short of that mark in Avernus, and even so, it was not so bad as this. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. They have you. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much. I had no wish to lose Will, but my, it would have been nice to flush her into the colony's flesh pit. Never believe this. Descend, assemble, prepare.
The controls are open to your tadpole's command. To your authority. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. No time to rest. Descend, assemble. Prepare, obey. Liberate, evacuate. True souls have passed through this place. murmur the presence in your mind builds to a roar we've found it the absolute is behind this door You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from her. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. <laughs> He must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. <sighs> if the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. 
We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Thor! of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word, flap in vain, old Aling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And, Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Finer champions than you have tried and failed. But perhaps they lacked the fear that drives you. Your freedom hanging in the balance. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired. The one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. So long as Night Song's in that cage, Catherine will keep getting back up.
always the same old song. By your command. This is my happy place. hunting.
if the gods are watching me. Red in tooth and claw. I forever, pal. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. your command. What's it gonna take? Now you were a face to match. 
Forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. My sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkin is dead. Permanently. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. What's hiding here? Death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable, truly. And now the picture comes together. The absolute is neither God nor man, it is the elder brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, 
which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together, and with those stones, and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. War is an old woman's game. Yes. Want another? saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I was his bodyguard. I looked after him with my life. I trusted him more than anything. He gave me a way to Zariel just for kicks. He ruined my life just when it was starting! And now he'll use up the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. Aelin! Isabel! My love! You were dead! I saw your body! I'm here. And... And so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. 
that somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Mine. No one stopped me yet. Could go for a good meal. My faith will guide me. Work to be done. Let's move. Thou dawdlest, our time is precious. Let us speak. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Mass an illithid army, void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. No. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished. 
as one and as three. The alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake, and the gods shudder. Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. I could... On second thoughts, I think we could be earning silver with this song. Maybe even gold. You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. It's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. It's a grim tusk, picking provisions from the dead. But the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. Lady Light. Just tell me what you need. Lady Light away. of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you, you did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. The road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces.
gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Orin, I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. As would I, and more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. To conjure the Dragon Queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I had Mazora at my side, and the archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. 
I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. You're sure? Later then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much to spare. With pleasure. Lead on. Ah, an excellent choice. Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mr. Fervor, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed. But after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The Elder Brain. But, more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. I know what nearly happened, and I'm sorry for putting you in that position. But I've stepped back from the precipice now. I've seen what may prove to be another way. A better way. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Ha! 
Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side. Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn. Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. Catherick Thorne never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become. By killing him, you set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorn is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother 
rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Seruna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land. My home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere.
but it is a common rite among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. What's next, I wonder? Give up now. These lands will soon be free of Shah's grasp. You can almost sense it. If I was a bard, I might be tempted to draw comparisons between nature and myself, both shaking off Shah. But luckily for you, I'm no bard. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a 
part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. The road to Baldur's Gate is up ahead. No turning back once we start down that road. The Shadow Curse will soon be forgotten, thanks to us. Looks like an army marched through here. has been lifted, the lands cleansed of the shadows. Cethric's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this at least, you have triumphed. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. 
Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you. I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid. Brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money. So I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. 
He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure. But her path will be easier with our support. Look, city. Hope you're keeping well, friend. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the dream visitor's protection. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Ha! Ha! The reckoning is upon us! The city thirsts for domination. March! Join! your way to the portal. I need your help. All right. Not 
going to hold together much longer. Under attack. Come on, let's go. It's not over. Come to the skull. Hurry! I can't hold them back alone. Never a dull moment. Not over. Come to the skull. to the skull. <sighs> At least things have stayed interesting. Hatched up. Pushing on. Not over. Come to the skull. Attention. It's not over. Come to the skull. What to do? 
Please, help me. Viper, back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asim Night Soul from her soul cage. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me! The God. Destroy the God. They prevent me from subduing their master. in position.
before me. Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate. Though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance, I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free 
and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while, until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Indeed, his hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Rather them than potential future allies, like you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus's mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus's mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside, and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. I do not have the privilege of knowing the answer, but the consequences are clear enough. Some Githyankis still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead, but as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. 
Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. I understand. Let us hope then that your present self will be sufficient to deal with three gods of death and a giant magically enhanced elder brain. But in case you change your mind... ready to evolve. You or your allies. It has vitality enough for you all. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Always. Lovely. If you're happy, I'm happy. Are you happy? Couldn't have said it better myself. Parasite communes with Lazelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. The tainted blood of the mother. 
the traitor prince, the Laxerai. The Elithid is a threat, make no mistake. But Orpheus is a greater one still. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Orpheus was, is Gith's renegade spawn. A gay thrall who would return us to our slavers. He convinced his own mother's honor guard to join a coup against Vlakith I. He would have fed our empire to the Illithids had he succeeded. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the traitor's with us, controlled by that repugnant Illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would hand Vlakith's dominion to his Geich masters. The astral plane would be first to fall. The others would soon follow. Entirely. Vlakith kasivim hrath krashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. This is the creed. I will not abandon all 10,000 protocols over one sovereign secret. We find a way to enter the prism and slay Orpheus. He is a geek puppet cloaked in Githyanki skin, and the most powerful mind master known to my people. One word from his scheming lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the false prince. The Githyanki would be slaves once more, and one by one, the plains would fall to the Geich. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. it sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore. Nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. 